It's 2020 and time for another round the world trip and we start in Vancouver to pay a visit to the Stordies and Mike and Jane. It's January so the weather is not too great and in fact it rains quite a lot and even snows. The first morning so we go and visit Claire at our care home and there they are the two sisters looking lovely and next door is the Somebody with that funny name, Tammy. Next day, with Mike and Jane, we drive to Horseshoe Bay for lunch and watch the ferry. Ferry moving out to Nanaimo. Be on that one, the Queen of Carichana. By this time, we had decided not to go to Hong Kong because of the virus, and we would go to Victoria for two nights and then to Tokyo. So we stayed the night with Susan, rented a car, and lo and behold, the next morning, there was snow on the ground, and our super duper car refused to go up the hill. So we had to borrow Susan's, and off we set for Victoria. But not before we watched Jasper trying to decide whether to eat the cat's food or not. And yes, it sounded like a good idea. But then the cat got his own back and took his place on his bed. The weather in Victoria was not very nice, but the hotel was lovely. And it did have a swimming pool, which some people were actually using, or rather the hot tub. GM could supervise whether I was washing behind both ears from the bedroom. And then it was back to Vancouver and off to Tokyo on Air Canada. Not Hong Kong, so no Mandy. Arriving in Tokyo, we wait for our super duper bus to take us to the hotel. And it's quite efficient, but a long drive. So here we are, arriving at the Hotel Imperial. I first stayed here in 1956 with my parents, and then later when Linda and I were in Tokyo. The view from our room was over the Imperial Palace Gardens, and the room was very comfortable and very modern with uh, curtains that worked from the bed, and nice like lots of lighting, really lovely. Curtains? And Drapes. Oh, look at it outside. It's really frosty. Breakfast was good, but we had to queue. As you can see, everything was fresh, cooked in the middle there. Taxi ride to the shopping center and Bobby Brown, all with masks. Oh, lovely. Look at that. Most uncomfortable. But everybody had them. On our way back from shopping, we saw this group of people taking photographs, and I pointed my camera in the same direction but could see nothing. However, one of them showed me what he was taking, a kingfisher, on his camera. A very pretty bird it was too. As it was a nice day, we decided to go for a walk, so we continued on through the park towards the Imperial Palace. Feeling hungry, we decided to stop for lunch on the way to the palace, and we stopped at this cafe, which was rather nice and had some tasty dishes, including this, which looked like a Scottish pie. And then it was into the garden in the palace, where they were clipping the trees, a view of the palace moat from our room. And then it was on to Osaka, where to start our real trip. And we traveled by Shinkansen, the fast bullet trains, which were excellent. Cold outside, so we waited in the waiting room for the trains to arrive on the platform. And there it is. No Zoom 227. So very comfortable, nice seats. And off we set to Osaka. The highlight of the train trip, of course, was passing Mount Fuji, 
which is uh, considered to be of very great religious importance in Japan. And it was a beautiful day, so we had a beautiful view of the mountain, which Granny, Papa, and I visited in 1955. Roughly three hours later, we arrive in Osaka and start our tour.